Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about wall corners in Blender. If you are trying to use Blender for architecture, design, or engineering, uh, creating walls will be something that we'll be doing uh, a lot. And uh, in this video, I'll be explaining two methods to create this uh, type of uh, object, focusing on the corners of uh, walls. Let me explain what I mean here. What is the usual way that we'll be creating uh, wall corners in Blender? I have two planes here, two flat surfaces. It's just a simple object. And if I enable here my measure tool, you will see that uh, both of them, if I create the ruler here, both of them have uh, has uh, one meter. I have one meter in uh, both uh, planes. Now, what is the most used or most common method to create wall corners? You, you will select this edge, press the E, x and type uh, 0 0.15 which by the way is the thickness for this wall and uh, i will select this edge again press e y one meter and i will be keeping uh doing the exact same thing for the rest of the walls this is quite simple now let me show you another method that can work or can help you with uh, walls and other objects as well we'll be using the shear tool. If I select this tool or this uh, edge, you will find the shear tool here. And what the shear tool will be doing, they will it will move each one of these vertices here on parallel on opposite sides. So it will tilt this edge. You will also find the shear at the mesh transform and shear. And as you can see the shear tool, uh, we have a shortcut. It's shift control alt s four keys to start the shear. If you are watching this video in front of a keyboard, uh, I have a challenge for you. If you want to hit this uh, four keys with just one hand, I often do this on my workshops and people stare at their keyboards for a couple of seconds until they figure out uh, what is the best layout to fi uh, with their fingers to hit those keys. It's not like control alt zero to change your uh, active camera. Now let's start a shear. Control shift alt s. And by the way, I use it two hands for this. If I move my mouse now, you will see that it will tilt the edge and if you press one on your keyboard it will shift it will tilt that edge 45 degrees which is great because we can keep going with the extrude let's say i will press the e key y and uh, hit one to create a, an extrude with one meter but you can see a few problems here first uh, we have this edge here which follows the same angle of this one. So we have to adjust that. You can easily do that. Uh, you can easily fix that by using the snap, select this vertex, press G, Y, and you can align it here. But there is another problem. It distorted this bottom edge here. As you can see, it doesn't have any more one. It, it now has 1.08 and it should be 1.15. So how can we fix that? Well, the best way to fix this, uh, in my opinion, is using PDT, which is a great add-on for Blender. I'm often covering uh, it here on the channel and on my workshops. Let me go to PDT and what I'll be doing here I will be measuring what is this the distance from this vertex to this vertex. PDT has a great tool with this option here, set AD to D. It will give me the measurement. Blender is rounding the number here, but the actual measurement is 1.075. And I can use something like a polar, uh, a polar coordinate with this section here but I have to figure out what is the distance that I need to move. Uh, one, cool thing, uh, one cool thing about Blender and text fields is that you can use expressions in most of them. For instance, I know that I need 1.15, so I can type 1.15 and subtract that from the actual distance. It will give me the difference. This is what I need. 
this is at the angle zero degrees so i will select everything here press this direction button and it will move my edges and there we go 1.15 so uh this is quite important because if you are using blender for architectural modeling engineering or design anything that requires precise modeling the shear tool will give you a shortcut but it will mess up your uh, units your distances another thing that you should consider uh, with uh, using the shear tool this layout here for your walls is that if you need to cut your walls for instance if i press ctrl r to cut uh, this wall it will cut the wall just this uh, vertical wall but if i press ctrl r on this case it will cut the entire wall not only my vertical wall it will keep cutting uh, all the rest of the walls to close the edge loop this is something to keep in mind so this was a, a not that quick uh, explanation about uh, wall corners and how to manage them especially with the shear tool i hope you like this tutorial if you find it useful if you think uh, someone else might benefit from it give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with more tutorials see you next time bye